Hi. Sorry, I had an itch that I wasn't planning on having. Um, yeah, hey, look at that. I have some better lighting. I'm uh, working on um, my... I was looking at him. He was um, prancing for some reason. He was getting a drink of water, and he like slurps really loud. He sounds like, I don't know, he just slurps really loud, like he's some sort of a, I don't know, loud slurper of some sort, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I, I experimented with lighting. I figured if I sit this way with the kitchen light on, because I'm in the dining room, yeah. Because why should I hide my hideousness from you all? See, there he goes. He's prancing again. He's doing it on purpose because the, the camera's not on him. You know, I swear. I guess I cannot try to get him into film. <laughs> because he will not work on command. Okay. But he's a cat. What do you expect? Too smart for his own good. And look at that one over there. Here, let's waste two minutes looking at the cats. Look at that one over there. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta see. Okay, yeah, look, look at that. Wait. Oh man, that means I have to get up. Crap. Okay, man. What, yes, what, did you hear me say that you're lazy? And you're getting up to prove me wrong? And look what I came home to. Look at this, look at this. It's not as big, am I even showing you? I don't even know. Jesus Christ. Okay, man, I'm just... I need to... <laughs> Go away. You're the one who made the mess. I, I should just stop this and start over, but I don't really want to. Look at that. Okay, I don't know if you saw it, but whatever. It's a mess. And I have to clean it up before I go to bed. So I can clean it up again in the morning. <laughs> okay, that was a really close shot of my gigantic head. Okay, hi. <laughs> Three minutes later... <laughs> But, um, yeah, Yoda, you can't sit in my lap like this. Haha. -ha. Look at that, I changed my pajamas. <laughs> I, um, look really fat. Um, I have doggy pajamas tonight. Don't worry, I have, um, pink kitty cat pajamas. I just chose the dog, doggies for the next few nights. <laughs> anyway, on to more pertinent matters. <laughs> Getting the hair out of my mouth. I should get a haircut. But then every time I cut my hair short, I want it long. Isn't that quite the dilemma? Anyway. Um, yes. The thing that was making that loud noise. Oh, it just needed charged. And, and then it shut up. Isn't that great? Nothing blew up. Darn. I'm still here, apparently. Um, but see, I couldn't really bring it in here to charge it myself, as I pause dramatically after each word, because it would have freaked the cats out. We can't be doing that now, can we? And plus it was really loud, and everyone would probably wonder what it was, and um, I don't want to draw attention to myself. Um, after only a month, I mean, not like that. I mean, here, let me draw attention to myself in other ways, like in the pink butterfly stickers that I put on the outside of my door. Let me draw attention to myself in that kind of a way. I did do that, I mean, I did. Like the ones that are in my bedroom, I put those on my, on my door. <laughs> yes. I wonder what people think. They probably don't. They probably didn't even notice. They're like, oh. That's that weird, weird red-headed white girl. <laughs> she, she put butterfly stickers on her door. Anyway. Um, yes, so that, that was, um, that problem was solved. Um, very simple. My mom's like, did you try charging it? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> no. That's too easy, did you think that I would have thought of that? 
I don't think of easy solutions like that because I'm Kim. She just kind of rolls her eyes at me like she always does. Not all there. Easy things are hard and hard things are easy. That's how it works for me. Oh, look, I've talked for five and a half minutes. Um, what else? Okay, you have to see this. I mean, it's just too funny and cute. Not my foot, but um, that right there. Can you see him? My hair's in the way. No, lay back down, fatso. Lay back down, you tubalard. Okay, anyway. Um, yes. Um, just one saw my mom. Go away, Yoda. And, uh, kept her company for a while. I talked to her. Kyle wasn't home. So I could not see my, you know, gigantically tall brother. He is. He's like six, six, six foot five or something like that. I'm only five foot two. <laughs> what, what? I don't know how that happened, but my dad was tall. My mom's a little shorter than me, but she refuses to admit that. She always says it's my shoes, and I'm like, you have shoes on too. Give me another one. <laughs> um, yeah, I watched The Walking Dead. I was a little disappointed in the episode, but you know, whatever. They always make up for it, like, the following week. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, I'll probably get AMC. Um like next week when like they upgrade my cable package um but I'll probably still go over there and watch it just to go over there and um keep her company because I think she needs it and I, I just like to go over there and visit with my mom even if we don't talk I mean we talk but not for like the whole like amount of hours that I'm there I just like to be there. I mean, even when, like, my dad was alive. I mean, I wouldn't go over there every day, but I like to just, like, be there with them. Because, like, I always had this thought in, like, my mind that, like, what if, what if, like, they died and I didn't see them again? I mean, it didn't, like, consume my every thought, obviously, but, like, I've, like, lost, like, so many, like, people that I cared about, like, to death <laughs> that um like I always knew like how like you never know when the last time you're gonna see somebody is that um yeah you always want to make sure at least with the people you like are close with and care about you always want to make sure that you're you spend as much time with them as you can and make sure that they know that you love them and care about them so that's why I would go over there as much as I would and help them out and whatever else that I did to let them know that I loved them and cared about them. Yes. <laughs> and um, yes, I still do that. So it's not like I'm doing it just because my dad died. No, not at all. I mean, I did that before. And it's something that, like, I talked to my mom when I went out to eat with her on Friday. Like, I don't know. I know that my dad knows that I loved him. But, um... I don't know, because that's, like, the last thing that I told him. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. It, like, really bothers me, because it's like I just want... I knew, like, as I was talking, I was, like, debating, like, should I say this or should I not? But, you know, whatever. It's like, I don't know. I know my dad knows, knew that I loved him, but it's just like, did he? Did he? For sure. It's like, did he know that I loved him? It, like, really bothers me. And, like, keeps me up sometimes. It, like, really makes me cry. It's like... Did he know that I loved him? <laughs> and the thing is, like, I'll never know. I mean, I hope he did. And I don't know, it just really sucks. 
Because it's like one of those things you'll never know. Because I mean, what are you supposed to do? Go up to someone like and be like, hey, do you know that I love you? <sighs> I mean, but I think that he did. I think they did, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it bothers me. It's like, oh, I hope Dan knows that I loved him. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to say more about that, but I can't because if I do, then we'll have problems. We'll save that, that discussion for another time. Maybe on November 12th, when it's it's three month anniversary and we go to the cemetery. Because of course, we'll have to record that to, um, sorry, it's like my humongous hand is like rubbing my eye. <laughs> Um, when we go to the cemetery and visit dad and bring him a gift. Um, yeah. Oh, my hand's up. Sorry. Um, oh, 12 minutes of talking. Oh, crap. Hold on. Actually, okay. Oh, technical difficulties. Um, yes. Oh, it looks like that butterfly is, like, gonna fly into my head. <laughs> um, ow. <laughs> um, anyway... Um, oh man, there were other things I wanted to talk about, but I've talked for 12 minutes, so like, I, sh I shouldn't. <sighs> I'll talk about it tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't forget. <clears throat> Don't worry, I won't forget, because I'll write it down. Um, yeah. My Sunday. Dealing with the beeping noise. Keeping mom company, watching The Walking Dead. A disappointing episode, but it's okay because you know what? I learned I learned about Morgan and uh, how he learned about um, yeah that uh, fighting thing that he does that I can't remember the name of. It starts with an A. Yes. Anyway, we'll discuss the other things tomorrow. Because I'm sure nothing else will happen tomorrow that we have to talk about. We didn't really have to talk about any of this either, but uh, we did. Um, yay, day two of no eating. Yay! Okay, I lied. I had like one fun-sized Snickers bar when I went to my mom's house because they had like no trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Why does the neighbor have like 17 trick-or-treaters, but like my parents like never have any? It's like, does the house not look inviting? Probably not. Oof. Okay, like any anyone in that house needs any more candy. They don't. What are you doing? I'm not even going to show you what he's doing because then he'll stop. And I can't point the phone correctly anyway. Oh look, 13 and a half minutes. Okay, I'll shut up now. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Um... Yeah, okay. Bye, have a good night. Toodaloo. I need to think of something else to say goodbye with. I need some better endings. Bye. <laughs>